Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Micah just checking in for another video log on my journey towards the stage. Um, this is my contest prep vlog and we're 13 days out from stepping on the under 165 class and I'm pretty excited at this point. I mean, there's really not much more I could be doing. Um, you know, over the course of these next two weeks, especially that last week, it may look a little differently. Um, but this is just an update on what happened this past week, um, things to come, and just some some thoughts um, throughout this whole pro you know process of 26 weeks of prep. Um, but honestly, you know, I'm I'm pretty excited at this point. 13 days out, uh, it's been quite the long journey from 182 days or 26 day, 26 weeks out. Um, you know, and I'm going to be honest with you, this past week has been probably one of the toughest weeks um, to make it through. Um, and it's not even a matter of the training or the diet. I think it's just the combination of prepping for so long um, that, you know, you get to a point where, um, you know, everything just becomes routine. You know, you get up, you do your thing at the gym you make your meals, you go to work, you come home, um, and it's quite the process. It's quite the, it becomes a habit. Um, so that's second nature for me. I think the biggest thing for me is just being able to be functional. Um, you know, my workouts are going really well. I'm actually able to sustain strength pretty well. Um, up to this point, I'm pretty surprised being on the macronutrient breakdown that I am on. Um, I'm pretty low in carbohydrates um, and my fats got dropped and cardio is a little different this past week. I'm actually doing, instead of the stair climber, I'm doing the treadmill three times a week and the recumbent bike three times a week and no more than 30 minutes um, at a time, which I'm really happy about because I am not a fan of cardio. I believe it's a necessary thing um, you know, throughout a prep and it's a nice balance between diet and what you're outputting for, for activity or exercise. And so I'm really happy that I'm not going above that because um, I am not an endurance athlete. So I just want to make sure that I'm sustaining and maintaining as much lean muscle tissue throughout this course of this prep. And I think I've been able to do that. Um, you know, so with my weight, my current weight is around 146, 147. Um, this is the lowest I've been since 2012 on stepping on stage. Um, I may be lighter than previous years, but I'm actually pretty happy with where I'm at condition wise. Um, I actually look a lot better than what I did last June, uh, which is surprising because I, that was my personal best. Um, as far as conditioning was concerned, I was 153 um, pounds at the time. And so now I'm like six, seven pounds down from that weight. And I feel like I'm bringing in something that's um, a lot more fine tuned. And I'm excited to see what happens um, within a weight category rather than just by a height class. And I know there's going to be some strong competitors, some strong athletes at this show, uh, which will help me continue to push myself to the end um, until that, you know, until that stage day. It doesn't matter what you look like before, the day before, the day after, even two hours before. What matters is what happens on that 20 minutes that you're on that stage and, you know, how confident you are and presenting your physique, not worrying about other people's physique, and just being able to enjoy the day because it goes by super quick. Um, and depending on how long you prep, knowing that you're just stepping on stage for a little bit of time, you know, you gotta gain that big perspective of, is it all worth it? And for that 20 minutes, and to me it is, you know, because it's not just that 20 minutes, it's being able to, talk to the people in the backstage, you know, just take it all in um, during that competition day because there's a lot of people that work hard to get there. And I appreciate all the people that support me, um, even, you know, my, my fellow athletes, competitors that, you know, take it, 
you know, take it to the next level. They help me push my body, push my mind to the next level as well. Um, but I think this past week, you know, has been really tough. Um, just being able to stay focused, um, not just not on workouts, not on the diet, but more so just life. And I think my body fat is, you know, continually dropping. So. Um, as it as it decreases as your calories and output you know intertwine with each other as you get deeper into a prep it gets harder and harder to focus and I don't care who you are um, it does <laughs> and it affects you no matter if it's a small or a big um, impact but honestly I am ex extremely excited to you know, take it to this last week of real intense training and then I don't know what will happen in during like, you know, peak week or that last week of leading up to the show. I'm pretty excited to have a coach that, you know, this time around because I don't have to think about it per se, um, that I'll have somebody there to kind of guide me through what I need to do for that last week so that I can be well rested full and just ready to tear that stage down and I you know I don't know what I would do um, differently if I didn't have a coach so it's it's nice to have somebody there to kind of learn from gain from their experience and be able to apply what I've learned um, throughout the course of that and build upon my progression um, but leading into this next week, I'm not sure what he has in store for me. Um, he said that we're going to sprint to the finish line. And uh, I don't know exactly what that means for this upcoming week as far as training. Um, you know, because there's, I just don't know how much more um, I could be doing. Uh, maybe just some switch ups, some, some variations with the cardio and um, the workouts, just making sure that I'm doing everything possible to kind of switch it up on my body. Um, other than that, uh, today is refeed day. I get to eat oatmeal, yes. And I really <laughs> look forward to these days where I get to refeed. Um, it's not as fun uh, like in the, in the building phase of my programs where macros are super high, but at least I get to enjoy um, you know some oatmeal spice it up a little bit and and that's the big thing for me too just a side note when you are contest prepping and you know that your macros are going to come down gradually make sure that you have some recipes be adventurous um, with finding new approaches towards preparing your food um, because that's what's going to really keep it lively for yourself um, you know and if you're like me and you know, you grew up in a social atmosphere, you grew up, you know, family oriented, there's family gatherings, and you need to have food, um, and you really like your seasonings, and you really like your, you know, your variety, play around with that idea, and just know that that's going to really help out with your mental game as well. So, um, you know, that's, that's where I've been able to be creative and save it in my fitness pal, and be able to create meals. Um, so I have certain meals throughout a contest prep where my macros are going to be really high, and that's exciting. And then when they're really low, but still being able to have enough volume and be able to have enough variety so that I'm not getting bored um, throughout the course of my prep. Um, but that's just a side note. Be creative, find variety, and know that experimentation with your foods is the only way to go. Um, we typically tend to eat the same foods every day um, even when you're not contest prepping out of convenience out of routine I really don't know but honestly um, I love my variety I love cooking and I love preparing my foods and it makes life so much fun if you have some variety so that's just my side note that's in my opinion um, you can continue to do what you want to do but for me personally, that's what helps, um, and every little bit helps during a prep. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, comments, um, suggestions, please leave them in the comments box below. I wanted to kind of keep this light and easy um, because this is 13 days out, so I really am pretty excited um, to continue pushing forward 
and get this, get this um, this show on the road. Uh, but please, you know, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will address them in my next videos or I will reply to them. Um, definitely appreciate all your support. Thank you. Bye bye.